Ever since I can remember, I've loved coming to this Goshala. Over here, all these cows are now my friends. I've been coming here ever since I was a child, and I have so many fond memories. About, about two to three years ago, I started researching about renewable energy and did some external reading. And thanks to my external reading, I was able to come here, and I thought to myself, I want to make a difference. I came to this Goshala two years back, and I had a whole new perspective. So an idea sparked. I noticed that this cow shelter has so much cow dung at its disposal, and, there, and one of the problems they were facing is, where do, what do you do with all the cow dung here? Secondly, the, this uh, cow shelter and this temple run school over here, Eg Muskan School, the school which aims to eradicate poverty in the region for the underprivileged, were facing a few problems. One of them being the large electricity bills and the, and the over-dependence on the Punjab electricity, which isn't the most reliable. Therefore, the perfect solution was a biogas plant, a plant that runs on agricultural waste and cow dung, which is an abundant supply here. I started talking to my granddad, who, who lives in Ludhiana and really were, and is actively involved in this shelter. And he and I started talking to the management over here. We put forward the idea and the management loved it. And fortunately for us, when we started talking about costs, the Ministry of New and Renewable Energy in India subsidizes biogas power. So the production of the biogas plant, which would cost 4,450,000 rupees, out of that 1,400,000 was paid by, by the MNRE in India. The rest of the 4,450,000 rupees was taken care of by donations. Last year, when we came back here to Ludhiana, we started, doing, uh, raising, we started raising awareness in the area, in the local region, about what we were planning on doing for the temple, for the Igmoskan school, and for the cow shelter. And thankfully from that, we were able to raise a lot of donation money and make up that amount. Levels are up. Oh, it's already gas ban gayi hai. Oh, upar us chuke. ठीक है. ये जा रहे हैं. Long email sessions back and forth. The biogas plant is finally complete and has been for the last four months. Um, so let me just give you a brief overview of what happens here in the biogas plant. This is the whole. This is the whole area over here, and um, this is where. Over here, this pit is where the cow dung is first deposited. It's mixed with water over here so that we decrease the viscosity of the cow dung. And then the cow dung is channeled through into these three channels over here, where over here now there's two blocks so that the blocks pass because only one, only one tank is used at one, at one time. Right now, this, ta this channel is open. The cow dung is being deposited into this tank. And now uh, this tank, each tank can take up to 150 meters cubed of um, cow dung. And then the gas is produced. This, uh, this one which is being used right now is being um, filtered through into the generator. Which, and then the generator produces electricity. The one to the far left here is connected straight to the kitchen and just produces biogas. It is not passed through the generator. It, it produces biogas which is then linked into the kitchen. The kitchen of the cow shelter where food is prepared for over 200, uh, 200 students from Ekmuskan school, all the cow shelter workers and people in the temple. All right, so one last benefit which comes from this incredible structure is that the waste product from the biogas plant is fertilizer. And fertilizer can be used in multiple ways in Punjab. There's, we all know that this is an agricultural city. So over here, all this fertilizer can be sold to farmers in the region, which even gener gener generates even more money for the cow shelter. Secondly, the fertilizer can be used for farms for the cow shelter and to make even more food and fodder for the cows to eat. So there are three major benefits from coming out of this cow shelter and this biogas plant which has been produced here. Firstly, the fertilizer. Secondly, we have the, the self-independence 
you don't need to use electricity from anywhere else. Uh, the cow shelter's kitchen, everything is run from the biogas produced over here. Thirdly, the Egg Muscan School, everything, the expansion of the cow shelter itself due to the increase in funds, increase in savings. And lastly, this is, this is a major solution for the, for the cow shelter in terms of waste disposal. In our, in our day and age now, waste disposal has become a major issue and this is the most environmental friendly uh, issue, uh, solution we can get. गोबर गैस प्लांट आ गया है जी और लाइट भी आ गया है और यहाँ काम बढ़िया से हो रहा है पंखे उनके सब चल रहे हैं मशीन भी चल रहा है दी रहते हैं बोलो दी बात मशीन भी ठीक है गाड़ी भी ठीक रही है खाना भी बनता है मशीन भी बहुत ठीक बोलो भी सब ठीक है Thank you.